Welcome back to the neighborhood. My name is Sonia, and today I wanted to talk about meditation. Uh, the reason I do want to talk about meditation is because it helped me a lot in my life. Per last podcast, um, I said that you know there was some stuff that I went through, and books helped. And so along that journey, I also found meditation. And the point of meditation is basically to calm your mind and to kind of bring it to a peaceful place. I mean, it's not necessarily about having nothing on your mind, which is something that a lot of people get turned off by, but it's just bringing your mind back and being able to control it in order to have like a nice and peaceful life, if you think about it. Because, I mean, Buddhists, they do that in a sense of like discipline and having a happy life. And I read Introduction to Buddhism. Um, and their meditation was basically for, you know, having a happy life, living in the present moment, but also meditating on future things, uh, one being death. They actually do meditate on death, which is very interesting, um, because it's something that we all don't like to think about. The majority of us don't want to know that we're dying even though it's an inevitable thing but i think it's very interesting that they do meditate on something like that they know it's an inevitable thing we know it's an inevitable thing so therefore like why not meditate on it and it's something that i found interesting because i've always been afraid of death so to me to meditate on something so heavy kind of freed me in a sense because I literally sat in my room with just like meditative music playing in the background so nobody could disturb me. And I literally thought about it. You know, if I die tomorrow, am I going to be happy with my life? Am I going to be happy with the decisions that I made to this point? You know what I'm saying? Am I going to be happy? And unfortunately, the answer was no. So then I meditated, well, how do I make it better? Like, how can I be happy? And I kept digging and digging and I kept reading the book and I realized like I worry too much about the future without even living in the present. And once I started letting go about my worries of the future and started living more in the present, that's when I realized like I'm happy now because right now I'm literally, you know, taking it day by day. And it's helping me because I'm making today the best that it could be. And I meditate on it all the time. You know what I'm saying? Meditation is not put your mind like at a blank slate and just keep it there. You know what I'm saying? For the normal person, you know, that's not going to happen. Buddhists, monks, probably, yes, because they, they're there for their whole lives doing that, training their brain and focusing on that. But for the normal person, you know, we have stuff going on. So if you really just want to meditate and you just want to sit down in a room, close your eyes and just focus on either your breathing or say there's like music playing in the background, focus on that and focus on your breathing. And if your mind wanders, let it wander, but also bring it back. And that's where the discipline starts is always bringing your, your mind back to whatever you're trying to focus on and focus that present moment because also you learn a lot about yourself especially when you're anxious and that's something that I learned is when I'm anxious if I meditate my mind will wander and then I'll bring it back but I'll realize this is where it's going this is where the anxious feeling is going to because this is what I'm worrying about so once you actually stop what you're doing and you actually take a minute to kind of hear your body out and hear your mind out, then you can find something to do about it because that's literally what meditation helps is to have a peaceful and calm mind. That is the root of happiness to some people and I think that is the path to happiness is being in tune with yourself and knowing that, you know, my body is anxious. Why is it anxious? I feel angry. Why am I angry? It's not necessarily, 
you know, to, you know, wipe your mind from that anger or anything, but it's to understand why am I angry? Why am I disappointed right now? And I know it helps a lot with people dealing with anxiety. Again, other things help. Therapy definitely helps to find the root. But if you're just having an anxious moment right then and there, it could just be you're having a chaotic day. Why are you having a chaotic day? What are your thoughts? What is running through your mind that is making you feel this way? And I think it's very important. And that's why I started doing it because I was always very anxious. My mind never stops running. So to always bring it back to a point A, it's very helpful to always have a point A. I always sit down and I focus on my breathing and that always helps. But maybe you might want to focus on, say, the music that's playing. Maybe like a nice little piano. I don't know, classical. A little bit of jazz. Yeah, a little singing bowl. Singing bowls are really good. You know, if you want to get more in depth, you can always meditate on your chakras. You can meditate on different chakras. Because, I mean, I don't know if you want to go into that. But, you know, you have your heart chakra, you have your third eye, you have your crown, um, I forget, your throat chakra, you know, different chakras. And they all bring different things. Mm -hmm. They all focus on different things. Mm -hmm. So if you want to feel, if you feel like there is a knot in your stomach, you feel like something ain't right, and you feel sick, that is could very well mean that it's imbalanced. If you believe in that, that your chakras are just imbalanced, sit down and meditate. You know, am I feeling insecure? What am I feeling insecure about? What can I do to make it better? And there are chakra books that can help you with that. I remember I read one that was the chakra for beginners. And it literally would talk about chakras and give you exercises. So one would be about imagine yourself just walking along the forest. Are you happy? You know, what is going on? What, what is making you feel present and grounded? You know, feel your feet walking along the ground. Things like that. Mm -hmm. That's meditation right there. To actually take a minute to focus on one thing and I'm sure people are gonna come at me and be like that's not meditation but it's what works for different people basically nowadays everything is hustle and bustle you know go over there go over there I got to do this I got to do this I have to multitask I got to get everything done in a day 24 hours is not long enough for me yeah, yeah. so it's like to have meditation it's to take even just five ten minutes some people take an hour. I can't do that personally. I get like sleepy after a while because I'm so calm. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. Um, but I get so <laughs> I get so like calm that I just fall asleep. So I usually tend to take five to ten minutes to meditate. And that's sometimes all you need, you know? That's that's exactly all you need. You just need time out of your busy day to say where am I right now? Where am I in the present moment? How am I feeling? How can I make this better? Am I happy right now? So some of the things that I do um, personally to meditate is kind of set up the room. You know, it doesn't have to be fancy. You don't have to light candles everywhere. You don't have to have romantic music playing in the background. No saxophone, nothing like that. Sometimes you just need... You know, sometimes you just need a minute in your car to like just close your eyes, take a deep breath and like recenter yourself. That's fine. But if you really want to meditate, if you're really struggling, this is what helps me. This is what has helped me. And basically um, what I do is I just choose um, a room that is well lit. I usually like the sun hitting the room. I don't know why. I just like the warmth of the sun I just like the daytime um, but I usually choose like a very lit naturally lit place 
and I put on some incense, usually a floral incense like uh, lavender or rose, or I usually put on some Palo Santo incense along with maybe some sage to kind of cleanse the area. Um, Again, you guys don't have to do this, but it's just something that I like to do to kind of feel more present and feel like it's doing something for me um, in the sense that, you know, I'm creating a neutral space where I can just sit with my own thoughts and I put on some music, some nice uh, classical music or I'll usually even look up on YouTube like meditation music or meditation, you know, background noise and a lot of options will pop up. So the the options are endless. Um, and then I just sit either on the floor and I sit on a pillow. You can also use a yoga mat and then afterwards or beforehand do some yoga kind of be in touch with your body be in touch with yourself again not everything works for everyone so it's kind of like a hit or miss but it's something that you should always play around with until you find what works for you because it's something that definitely helps um i think setting the right environment also helps but say you're not in the right environment, say you live in a busy city and there's always sirens going off, there's always stuff happening outside. Um, I know personally there's always something going on in my neighborhood, um, so I get it. There are apps for that as well where you can literally download an app to guide you through the meditation and it helps. I remember when I first started, I downloaded the app I personally didn't gravitate towards apps like um, Headspace because I didn't really like the guided meditation. I wanted to kind of be able to freely think of whatever I wanted to think of or create the space that I wanted to think of. And, you know, that's just me. Somebody might need that guided meditation of just like, close your eyes, take a deep breath, you know. For me, I just wanted silence, but I wanted to focus on my breathing. I wanted to focus on the music in the background, and that's okay. Everyone is different. So, I mean, if it works for you, then great. If it doesn't work for you, I wouldn't give up so easily. I wouldn't just knock it and be like, meditation is dumb. Because there are a lot of people that, you know, would say that. And then, you know, years later, they tried it again and it worked for them. So, I mean, honestly, there's different methods and there's different ways of meditation. Like I said, what I'm saying right now, someone might be like, that's not meditation. You know, because maybe they have a different way. Or maybe they're just like, you know what, Sonia, you're right. That's exactly what I do. And great, you know, I'm glad it works for you. It works for me just fine. And maybe you do need that guided meditation. You know, wherever you are listening to my podcast, I've heard I have a very soothing voice. So let's just try it out a little bit. All right? Just close your eyes wherever you are, unless you're driving. Please don't close your eyes if you're driving. But just close your eyes. And then just focus on either your breath or the sound of my voice. And just take one deep breath in and one deep breath out. And just sit there for a second, 30 seconds. And just think, how's my day? How am I feeling? Am I anxious right now? Am I worried about something? If you are, let your mind wander, but always bring it back to your breathing. If you're anxious right now, 
Take another deep breath in and another deep breath out. Let it happen for you. All right, and you just open your eyes and it wasn't that hard. You literally just did a mini meditation. If you were anxious, if you weren't anxious, if you were happy, what were you happy about? What happened today that made you happy? If you were anxious, what happened today that made you anxious? You know, it doesn't just help you, but for those seeking therapy as well, it can better help you understand what is happening. And you could speak to your therapist about it. You can literally just be like, hey, I was anxious about X, Y, Z. Through my meditation, I knew that I was, I was not okay with it. And it works, you know? It may not work in a day. It's going to take some time. But I definitely think that it's something that a lot of people need, if not everyone. At least to try, even if you don't do it every day. You know, do it once a week. Do it once every two weeks. Do it every month. Check in with yourself and see how you are doing. You know, I think mental health is very important. And I think it's something that should be talked about. But not just talked about. I think solutions should also be talked about. You know, we always talk about therapy and, you know, medicine. But what are other options that not necessarily replace therapy and medicine, but can help assist us in living a healthier and happy life? And with that, I will leave you all and I'll see you around in the neighborhood.